Here's an example of how to actually compute a confidence interval. You start out by drawing a large random sample. You compute the sample statistics, like in this example, the mean of the sample is 40. The standard error, which is a measure of sampling error, is 3. You select a confidence level. So if you pick a 68% confidence level for a large sample, that corresponds to a Z of plus or minus 1.0. Or if you pick a 95% confidence level, it corresponds to Z 1.96. You then plug those sample values into the computing formula for a confidence interval. And you get the results that in this particular case, we're 95% confident that the true value ranges between 34 and 46. Our simple best guess at what that unknown population value is, is our sample value in this particular case is 40. So this is how you do a confidence interval.